So here is an example where we can create a reveal effect using a background image. And this can create quite a lot of interesting looking effects. So in this example, we've got this. So to create this effect or similar, we'll start with a blank slide and we'll right click on the background and choose format background. Then we'll choose picture or texture fill, insert from a file and select the file we would like to use. And that effectively formats the background as a picture fill. Firstly, we're going to take the title, animated title reveal effect, and we're gonna copy this onto our slide background fill. And we're just gonna make the text white so we can see it clearly. So in this example, I've used the shape parallelogram to create an interesting effect as we reveal the image. And this is available in the basic shape section here, parallelogram. And then if you click, you just see it draws in and you can use this small yellow circle to adjust the angle and the width. And rather than draw them all in now, I'll just go to ones I've created earlier, which are here. And I've created six of them and put a white outline around them so you can see where they are when we do the next step. So we'll control C from here, go back into our slide where we've got the slide background fill and control V to paste them in. You can see I've actually added an animation path, which I'll show you how to do in a minute to each one of these. So now they'll reveal off like this. So the final step in this case would be to right click on all of them choose format object, go to the fill section, and make sure it's on slide background fill. And finally, go to no outline. And when you play this back now, it will reveal as I showed you at the start to get that nice effect. A couple of things I'd like to mention here to make it a bit easier to do this. Firstly, you can see that as you move over each one of them, cursor will change slightly. If you're not over one of them at all, it will just be an arrow. If you are over one of them, it will become an arrow with the four pointers, directional pointers above it. When you click on it, you can then pick this up and put it anywhere you like. And you can see that wherever you drop it, it will automatically take that part of the background image. And this can be a little confusing because you can't really see exactly what you're dealing with. So for example, I will just unselect the title part. I've selected all of them here and I put a white outline around them just while I was working with them because then I can see exactly where they are. And this helps, for example, when you're putting animation on. And to do the animation, I would just temporarily remove everything but one of them, just so you can clearly see how I do the animation. And you can go to add animation line and then you select it to go the direction you'd like which in this case is to the right what's important here is if you click on the red and then hold down shift and move this red dot that then becomes a red arrow to make sure that goes all the way out of the page so when you run this now that will then go all the way out of the page. And you can go to the start menu and you can change this to after previous. So it means it happens automatically. And you can also double click and change the amount of time you'd like it to have. For example, if you want it to start smoothly or end smoothly and the actual duration. So we could set it a bit slower. Excellent. And when we're happy with the animation, we can click on it and then change the shape outline back to no outline. And then you can just apply that to multiple shapes to get exactly the same effect we had at the beginning.